Hi. Come on in. Sure. It's a nice place. Can I get you something? No. Okay. Have a seat. No, I'm gonna stand. All right, have and have not fans, hope you're all doing well. That was our have a tease moment for tonight's episode, season eight, episode five, A Little Bird. Please make sure you take a moment to hit the like button, hit subscribe, click the bell notification icon and select all, and follow me on my social media platforms. Links are in the description below. I don't really know what to say here. Um... All we these have a tease moments have been a bit lackluster. I I preferred it back in the day, or should I just say maybe a couple of seasons ago, when we would get maybe one to three clips of the episode around you know, around maybe around noon to one PM in the afternoon. Uh the own Instagram page would have like three separate clips in the story, sometimes ranging between 10 to 15 seconds long and then we would have maybe a 30 to 55 second clip now i'm not saying i want the entire episode revealed to us because let's be honest more often than not there isn't too much that actually happens in a given episode but what i'm saying is these teases i mean we might as well not get them because if all we have is like somebody entering a room then what's the use unless there's some kind of shock factor at least with last week the clip was pretty decent it showed us um you know benny acting nice for a change and then everybody's getting ready to go to dinner and then landon pops up now that's good now i'm not saying look it's only 1 40 p.m right now so for all i know a extended clip could be released but these have a teases are not really necessary just my opinion don't get me wrong like i mean we Take we get now. You probably wonder, well, Jeremy, well, what are you ranting for? Literally, what is there to say? I'm not gonna lie. When Veronica answered the door for a moment, I thought that was Marco, and I'm like, here we go again, the same old thing. Veronica's gonna answer the door. Marco, Marco's gonna pop in, and it's just the same old thing we've had for the past four episodes. But no, uh, it's Tanner, and uh, yeah, he's gonna stand up. In the preview, we see that Veronica is going to show him a picture of Colby. So it definitely seems like, uh, you know, Tanner is going to be her guy to get information and take down Colby. Marco's helping with the whole assassin thing. I don't know. There's just so much going on. I, again, please, please, please. Let me just put it this way. I, I, I don't want to come across like I'm being bitter or, you know, negative already. It's just that for the past couple of weeks, you know, when they do these have a teases, they really aren't worth doing videos on. But I just feel like it's tradition to do videos on these various clips or should I just say single clips we get per week, uh, regardless how lackluster they are. But let me just say, uh, since that's all I have to say about that particular topic. The video I posted before about uh, Zach and who she, he should end up with, I got to say, the video is doing exactly what I wanted. I'm seeing so far over 30 comments and it's barely been an hour since I posted the video. I'm glad the video is doing well because YouTube nowadays, the more likes and comments a video gets, the more YouTube promotes it. So I really do hope that video gets at least 10,000 views eventually, but I'm just happy that video is doing well. And I even mentioned it in the top comment. I pinned it in the comment section. Now that I thought about the topic even more, I think that Fatima would be somewhat of a good match due to the fact that if um, if Zach gets Fatima to change her viewpoint on relationships and dating, instead of just dating multiple guys, just focus on one, then I guess you could say that Zach will have a positive influence on Fatima the same way Fatima has a positive influence on Zach in regards to him basically picking himself up and making something out of himself. So in a way, they both have a very positive influence on the other because some people pointed out some uh, information about Rhea that I didn't take in consideration, like, you know, how uh, Ray Officer Rhea was more into Zach, you know, for his body and all as opposed to him as a person. So, I don't know. 
I still think Rhea would be a good fit, but like you know, I we'll just talk about that in the comments on the other video. But that's all I have for this one. Um, I do plan on doing my usual live tweeting or yeah, live tweeting, do a live stream afterwards. And tomorrow is going to be interesting because I don't know what day I'm going home for Christmas. I'm either going home Christmas Eve or I'm going home Christmas Day. And then I'm going to come back to Lynchburg no later than Monday, possibly Sunday. But I probably I feel like my mom's going to make me stay till Monday. It's not like I don't want to stay. But just to give you a recap, I got a lot of stuff last night and this morning to sell on eBay. I pulled another Charizard card that's going for like $500 or so. And my parents said that next month they're going to come up. And remember, I'm only 55 minutes away from home. They're going to come up and we're going to go to the housing lot together. And uh, because, you know, if I do get a house and go and move on their land, then, you know, obviously they know certain things to talk to the uh, realtor about that I don't. So we're going to go there together, look at the houses. Nothing is certain, but all I'm saying is, it, it looks potentially good. All I'm saying is the my parents just want to come up. We're going to go together. And because Clayton Holmes is where I'm looking at. And that Clayton Holmes is like 12 minutes away from my apartment. And it's something that I pass by every time I'm, you know, going from my apartment to home and, you know, vice versa. So, you know, we'll sit down, look over the paperwork look at credit scores and whatnot and if things work out then that could be good so that's why i'm going to come back sooner than you know later because i'm trying to you know stack up money so uh yeah i really am excited for what 2021 could potentially look like because i'm just ready for a change like i said you know my apartments like me and my roommate we wouldn't be roommates for five years if it wasn't a good matchup but it's like i'm just ready to move on with the next chapter in my life as I turn 30 next August. So I know this video is a bit all over the place, but like I said, the clip didn't really give me a lot to talk about. So it's like, I just wanted to do a little uh, recap of what's going on in life right now. Um, I did see the coming to America trailer. Looks pretty decent, but uh, I, I got my thoughts about that. I'll do a separate video, but yeah, that's all I got for this one. Uh, so make sure you follow me on Twitter. Like I said, all the social media stuff is in the description box so we can tweet during the episode shoot tonight. Um, I think I mentioned this on Instagram, but I did get paid yesterday evening. And I don't know why it took so long to hit my account from YouTube, but I will be spending time today and tomorrow prepping the 30 DVDs. <laughs> That I gave away, so I can't wait to get those out in the postal system. Um, they should be in the mail by Thursday. I know I said Wednesday, but it's probably going to take a while. I did find a couple more DVDs when I was in Walmart this morning and when I was in Target last night. So I might be doing another smaller giveaway in the coming future, probably for New Year's. It depends on, you know, certain things, but I did enjoy it. Like I said, I, I wish I could do giveaways a lot, but like I said, I'm trying to, you know, get a house, so... This will probably be my last giveaway for a while. And as always, if you want to make donations, feel free to do so on PayPal, Cash App, or join Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Uh, I'll keep you all updated on the house thing. Like, you know, hopefully, like I said, go meet with the people in person. There are three houses I'm looking at. And, uh, you know, if I get approved for like a loan or whatever, because let me put it this way, I'm planning on paying that sucker off ASAP. Because if that, you know, if I get the house, I'll have like an entire house to work with. That way I'm not just working out of my room and part of the living room, with my eBay stuff. I have an entire house to work with three bedrooms, two baths, and it's just going to be me. So I will be working my ass off um, and not to the point of exhaustion, but to the point where I definitely feel like, you know, it's going to give me more motivation because ever since I paid off my car earlier this year, thanks to eBay. Yes, I sell Pokemon cars that do well. So who who would have thought Pokemon cars would pay for my vehicle off? I just feel like having the house will give me something to push for because it's just something that I can say is mine and it's not something that's going to be rented. It's going to be mine. So, so yeah, I know this video is like really long. It's my bad. So thanks so much for tuning in guys. I'll catch you all later tonight app uh, during the episode on Twitter after the episode on YouTube. Once again, congrats to all the DVD winners and I will talk to you all soon.